Yo, what's up, boys? Hades here. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I do the Fortnite custom loading screens and how you can do it following simple steps using After Effects CC 2018. So, before we get started with the tutorial, the first thing you want to make sure is that your PS4 is linked to your YouTube, so then you're able to upload your videos there. The first program you want to download is After Effects CC 2018. I will leave a download link in my description for that. And you also want to make sure that you download 4K Video Downloader. So this is the program that I use to download my clips from YouTube. Now we can go in creative and record our character doing an emote to a green screen. There's two ways for you to do this. You can either create your own green screen using green blocks. Otherwise I have created a green screen for you guys in creative and you will find the code on the screen otherwise i'll also put the code in the description as well so now you can position yourself to do your emote what i usually do is i'll look a little bit to the left this is so i can get an angle i do the emote three times this is because in replay system sometimes it glitches out so i do this just in case so once you've done this you can leave creative So now you can go and replay system. The first thing I do is I turn my camera to drone free. I also slow down the video and I also position my character in a good view before I start recording. Once you're in position and ready to record, if you're using a PS4, you just double tap the share button and you also double tap it again when you want to finish recording. If you're using a PC, you want to record your clip using Streamlabs OBS, I'll also link that in the description. So the next step is going in Playground to record your background. So I already have a Playground file saved in Replay System, so I'm just going to go straight in. So once you're in the Playground Replay System, you want to change your camera to Free Drone once again, and you want to pretty much do the same thing as before. Position your camera in the scene that you want to record and once you want to record it on PlayStation just do the same process and on PC use the same program. So once you have uploaded your videos from your PS4 or PC to YouTube now you want to go onto YouTube and copy the link of the video and paste the link into 4K Video Downloader. So this will download the videos onto your PC and from there you can switch your videos into folders. So now we're going to get into After Effects and start editing. So the first thing you want to do is load it up. I do suggest having a look at some tutorials around basics of After Effects. There's a lot of them on YouTube and I'll link a few in the description. So once you're in After Effects, you want to create a new project and you also want to create a new composition. Once you're at this point, these two little logos here just represent your zoom in and zoom out. So it just allows you to see your project easier. So now we're going to bring our videos into After Effects. So you just want to go up to File, go to Import, and you want to click on Multiple Files. So this just allows you to bring in more, um, more files at the same time. So you just want to pick all your files and then press Done. Now you want to drag your video clips onto the timeline. So I usually start with the character first. And then below the character, I will drag the background and place it underneath. So I also import a music file into After Effects as well. And I usually put this at the bottom. So a quick must, I want you to head over here and click these two volume buttons. So what this does is it mutes the actual videos. So then you won't hear any um, secondary sounds or background noise. So I want this to be 14 seconds long, so I will go to 14 seconds on the work area and press N. 
and this will close it off for me so now you can press zero so this preview renders your clip and allows you to see different parts of the clip so that you are able to cut it and keep the parts that you want to keep So now we want to get rid of the green screen so you want to go up to effect go to keying and you want to click on key light so once you're on key light you want to go to this tool right here click it and then you want to hover over the green part of the video and click it and this should take away the green screen so now you want to click on the clip of your character and press p for position so over here you will see two set of numbers come up so these numbers on the left if you move them up and down uh, you will see your character move left and right and when you do the same thing to the second part of numbers that will move the character up and down so this is your position tool so once you've done that i want you to right click on the clip and go to pre-compose so you can name this part if you want to otherwise go down to these two options and click them and then press ok now press ctrl y to create a solid so just make sure this is black before you press ok so when you add this to your work area please remember to put this below your character because this is going to be the black part that you put your socials and your names on now use your scroll wheel on your mouse to push the scene backwards and once you've done this go up to the pen tool this is also known as the masking tool so we're going to use this to cut our shape for our social background please remember to connect the last part so that the masking works Now click on the text tool and write stay connected, then move this underneath the character layer. Now you can move this into place and make the text bigger by pressing S and increasing the numbers. Once you've done that, just make sure it's in the spot that you want it to be in. Now click on the text and press Ctrl D and this will duplicate the text. Then you can position the text and change it by pressing the text tool once again then clicking on the text and spelling a new word. Now you can pretty much continue to duplicate your text until you have spelt out all the words that you need on your loading screen. Now press Ctrl Y to create a solid and make sure you change this to white then press OK. Then move this layer underneath all of your text layers so then you're able to see your text on the loading screen. Now select the rectangle tool and create a thin rectangle below the loading text. Now click the arrow next to mask 1 and then click the little stopwatch next to mask path and this will set a keyframe. Then click the beginning of your work area and then click on the zoom tool and zoom up on the thin white solid. Click the select tool and then click the corner of the mask until these squares show. Then click on the middle square and drag it all the way in. Now highlight both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assist and click easy ease. This just smoothens it out for you. Press Ctrl Y then OK. Move this below the character layer. Then select and hold over the rectangle tool. Then click the ellipse tool to create a circle. Now you can position the circle next to the text. And you can also press Ctrl D to duplicate the circle. And put these next to each text layer. Now press Ctrl Shift and while holding select all text layers and all black and white layers. Right click, go to pre-compose, press OK and now you will have a new layer with all layers from before in one. 
Now you can right click on each layer and rename them if you want to. Now go to layer, new, adjustment layer. This will create a grey bar in the work area. Now go to effects and type in looks. Then select and drag looks onto your adjustment layer. Now select edit and this will load you into magic bullet looks. So magic bullet looks is pretty much a third party plugin and it's used for color correction. So you're able to use this to change the different colors and backgrounds of your scene. Before completing this step, you must pause the video and download magic bullet looks for after effects. I will also leave a link to a tutorial in the description. So once you find a color correction that you like, then you can just go down to the bottom and press the tick and you will go back to your work area. So the last thing you want to do is you want to click on your background layer, then go to effects and search GAU. So Gaussian blue will come up and you want to click that and drag it and put it onto your background layer. So what this does is it blues the background so you can pick between 10 to 50. I usually go about 20 so it just completely depends on how blurry you want it to be. And now we are done boys. And that commences today's tutorial on how to make a basic loading screen using After Effects CC 2018. There's a few more things that I didn't put in the tutorial which could also improve your loading screen but over time and with practice you will learn these things and your loading screens will slowly improve. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to use code HADES in the item shop, wink wink. So after adding a few details, here is the finished product of today's loading screen. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks boys.